Hello, and welcome to a brief video introduction to Shared Plan Pro Planning. In this video, we're going to walk you through the basic operation of Shared Plan Pro, as well as some of the features that we think you'll find interesting and differentiate us from other project planning applications, such as our hosted project server, which we'll go into in detail in another video that's available on our website. In this video, we're going to walk you through the creation of a simple project and use some of the more interesting features of Shared Plan Pro planning. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is to create a task. You do this by double clicking on the any open area of the network diagram. In this case it's project conception. Conception is followed by design. Design is followed by execution. Execution is followed by finish. And you'll notice that in each case we double click and type the name of the task and we continue to do that. Now once we've created the four tasks, we need to create dependencies. Dependencies are created by clicking within one task and dragging to the other. You can do that over and over again. A task can have more than one dependency. We also have project stickies. Shift, double click, and you'll create a project sticky anywhere on an open area of the network diagram. In this case, we've called it, it's never this simple. And we're resizing the project sticky. You can resize it, move it around, do whatever you'd like to do with it. Now, one of the features of Shared Plan Pro are subprojects. Clip on the, on the plus sign in the upper right hand corner, you'll create a subproject and move into it. Subprojects allow you to create and hide detail for, at the level where you need it so that your top project level is not cluttered up. Once you've created the project, just click on the minus sign in the upper left hand corner and it'll take you back up to the top level. Now, You'll also notice that the duration is taken from the sub-project. So if you have multiple task downs there, the duration of the upper level will automatically be recalculated. Now in this case, we're going to manually create the duration, and we're going to say it's going to be 21 days for designing the project. Again, we're going to need more, more, more detail under the execute sub-project, so we're going to create that. And as you see, we double-click, double-click and drag, and we create tasks. You can also click on the canvas and drag to create a, t a task box of any size that you'd like. Move back up to the top level. Again, we're going to add a duration to finish. We're going to say it's 21 days. And we're going to also add some information on the task notes. It says we're just going to bask in the glory of our success. We're going to save that. And we're going to move over to the Gantt chart by clicking on the tab at the top. Now over here we say, oops, we've forgotten a task. No surprise there, it happens to everyone all the time. So you click in an open area, create a task, you can create a dependency, you double click on the, click on the name and you can give it a name. In this case we're calling it funding because we've forgotten to get funding for this project. Just a little detail. We're going to show you we have a sense of humor and set that to be 21 days in length. And now we want to move it, so we're going to click on the vertical lines at the left and drag it up to where we'd like it. And we're going to establish a dependency by clicking on the right end and moving it back to the beginning of the task we'd like to have it dependent upon. We can zoom out so we can see the entire project, which shows early March to mid-May. We can expand sub-projects so we can see all the duration underneath that. In preferences, you can adjust the appearance of the shared plan. You can adjust the locale, you can set items related to how you want to collaborate, you can s determine how you connect up to the project server, you can also establish email preferences for collaborating and sending email to the resources. Here you can open Microsoft project files as well as saving to spreadsheet files. In the calendar you can adjust the number of work days, the number of work hours, And you can also look at the project information where you can set the URL as well as project notes. This is an excellent place to capture the goal of the project as well as any other information that you might have as the project progresses. The server menu allows you to establish the connection with the server, open projects from the server, save projects back to the server. And as before, we'll go into that in a lot more detail. Here you can publish a 
Assignments to resources through email, you can publish the project to a calendar, and if you're using RSS, you can publish the project to an RSS feed. Under reporting, there are a wide variety of resources that you can create, as well as custom resources. Each of these, once you've clicked on the OK or selected the report that you'd like to see, will show up in your browser, meaning that you can then publish that out to a web server, or email it to someone, or print it, or do whatever else you'd like to do with it. Analysis offers additional options for digging deeper into the project and what might be happening so that you can stay aware of that. Under help, there's a user guide, hence you can connect up to the open project server as well as provide us with feedback, which we love to get. There's more information on all of this at our website, sharedplan.com. Thank you, and we look forward to hearing from you soon.